Homecoming by Parthasarathi R. Parthasarathi Rajagopal Parthasarathi, an Indian poet, translator, critic, and editor was born on August 20, 1934 at Thirukarapalli, Tamil Nadu. Studied at Don Bosco High School and Siddharth College, Mumbai, and Leeds University, UK. Worked as a lecturer in English literature in Mumbai. Published his first work poetry from Leeds in 1968. Received Sahitya Academy Award for translation in 1995. Homecoming. Published in the collection Rough Passage, a collection of poems from 1961 to 1975. Poem builds on the idea of the poet feeling exile and isolated. Indicates the influence of English in the native tongues. Poem is about the representation of the native land after returning from abroad after a generation. Summary The poem opens by stating the linguistic instability or inability. The poet addresses his mother tongue and states that his tongue is chained with English and after a generation he is returning to his mother land. He states that finally he ahs reached to the Dravidian bond. He indicates the difficulty he faces while speaking his mother tongue, Tamil. He falters, stumble, and feels it difficult to utter the words like the other people who are twisting the old language and giving a new versions as seen in the cinemas. At present it is totally changed and the glory of the language used by Namalavar is diminished. His hope of bringing back the glory of the language fades as he hears people using Tamil with an articulated manner. He is questioning how long the foreign poets can provide the staple of the lines in this language. He asks the readers to think of the past and recollect how they have been motivated by the elders to speak in Tamil. He indicates a family reunion which happened after 1959, when his grandfather died. The family members gathered at Tirachender by crowded buses with huge load of memories of the past years. They sit there on the steps without any formality and had their conversation and also the packed food they bought. He indicates a character Sundari, a 40 years old woman who is moving here and there. The poet remembers her spending time with him near the tamarind tree in her long skirt every morning. At present she is married and has three daughters clinging to her like three planets. The poet finds it difficult to relate himself with his relatives. He states that he is an expert in farewells and feels guilty of losing his familiar tradition. He thinks of his father who is no more and the reaction of his relations at the burning ghat. He has followed his father and he states that his unborn son will never have any idea about this tradition and culture. He says to himself that he is born in this island and witnesses the fertility of the land. He is not satisfied with the present sight of the nature there. The fertility brought by the river is no more available and dryness and drought has occupied it. He indicates the dusty atmosphere there. Walking through the streets covered with dust and crowd he is now moving to retire in his own home. The poet is longing and also missing the past nature and all glorious tradition and culture. He returns to his bed with a heavy heart of missing the past. He is stating that he is retiring from his life too and his poem will be there to state the situation of his native land. The poet is indicating the mode of living a life full of contentment. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.